Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to set up the stats to be displayed in our inventory details panel. So we're just going to have a little a text object here that's going to show all the stats. It's going to be just this is going to be a string of text. Nothing too complicated for a simple RPG, right? So what I'm going to do first is set up the UI element, and there it goes that. That's great. <laughs> set up the UI element so that we can just reference it and add stuff to it, right? And I was thinking you might be able to do this, uh, you, you could do this in a scroll view like we did the items here so that you can have as many as you want in a list. But since we already did a scroll view, you can just take what we did then and apply it to now. And I'm just going to keep it simple with just a simple list. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my inventory panel. I'm going to go to my inventory details. And in here, I'm going to create, I'm just going to create an image. And this image is, I want to call it a uh, stat list or something like that. And stat list, if I go to it here, I got 2D toggled on so I can work in 2D just fine. And I've got the tool right there selected for sprite work. So I want to just align this with our other elements here. Just like that. Our description box is not very big. I guess that's fine though. You can make yours however you want, right? That's the whole point of this. So I'm going to take my stat list and I'm going to, we're just going to lower the, the alpha in it a bit, make it noticeable, but don't want it to pop too much because I don't want the actual stats to pop, right? So I'm going to, and again, this is just all placeholder graphics. You should bring in your, your UI stuff. And we may do that in the end. I might get a free pack from somebody and actually fill in some of this stuff with real elements and make it look like a game. That could be fun. <laughs> but for now, it's going to be simple. So I want to add a text element to my stat list. I'm just going to line it up in the top left here. And I'm just going to make it fill the whole thing. And then I want to set it to stretch. And I'm also going to make this one. See, this can stretch. See, how's that going to do if I stretch it all like that? Seems to be good. Our, um, hmm, our description is not very happy, though. It's set to stretch, but I want to align the anchors to the bottom of it. And also, so do that again. That's fine. And then I'm also going to take my text, and just as an example, it's going to say like attack 23, right? And like, that's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Um, um, try to keep it very simple here. I'm going to make it about 18, eh, maybe 16 font size. And I want to make the color just like that. I'm going to grab the stat list and I'm going to make the, actually I'll make this 10, 10, 10, 10 all around. Just like that. And stat list should be 10 as well. It's not, whoop, not on the bottom though. It's not because we just lined it up ourselves, and it just gets it close apparently. <laughs> so there's that, and that's how it's going to look. Um, and we'll just pile more stats in here as we load them in from the item. So what I could do though, I was just thinking about this, you could actually make this stat list, you could make it into a grid. If I were to show you real quickly how to do that, I know it's not something that I just talked about doing. Make it a grid, and maybe set this the cell size to be whatever you want the actual size of that display of the stat to be and then make two columns so you can have more in there um, whatever you want but you know like I said keeping it simple so it's gonna go back to what this was there we go and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and name this text stat just like that and now inventory details needs a reference to this so if I were to go to inventory details open that up what I want is I'm going to set a public reference to that text element so it's gonna be text and it's gonna be called stat text and then whenever an item is set 
what I'm going to do is the first thing I want to do is I want to set stat text and grab the text property of that component and set it to be equal to nothing. Okay, so we're emptying out the string. So whenever we add a new item, we make sure we're not actually just concatenating the new data onto the old data, which means if we have data already in that string and we add more to it, well, we're just going to keep adding to the list and we're not going to actually replace the list. So all I'm going to do is just empty out that string and then I'm going to go in and actually need reference to the item for this. So that's what I can do here. We're going to go through and loop through each stat that is in the item, right? But first I want to make sure that stats exist because like I said before, some of our items won't have stats and we want to be able to accommodate that because we don't want to have to fill out stats for every item, even if they don't require stats. So I can do a check here and I can say if um, item dot stats is not equal to null. Pretty simple, right? So if it's got something in it, then we know it's got stats. And then what I can do is I'm going to loop through using a good old for each here. And now for each is going to take an object and I'm going to see how many of those objects are in a collection pretty much, right? So I'm going to take and see how many base stat objects which is the stat that everything uses as a base before you add on bonuses and whatnot. I'm going to check and see how many of those are in item dot stats. And for each one, I want to add it to that string. So I want to do stat text dot text plus equals. And we're going to add a string to that string. So I'm going to take the current string and concatenate onto the end a new string. But it's going to start out as empty, right? So first of all, I'm going to grab the name of the stat. So it's going to be item dot, or it's going to be actually, sorry, stat dot stat name. And we're going to concatenate onto the end of that a semicolon. I'm sorry, a colon, not a semicolon. And then we're going to concatenate on the end of that. Notice the colon has a space after it because we're making a list. At the end of that, we're going to actually add the value of the stat. So stat dot value is called base value. File value if you have stat bonuses, but our weapons do not have bonuses on them or any of our items will have bonuses on them. They just have stats. And then we can add bonuses to our character and that's just a different thing. So we're just using the same stat system for both. So that should do that, and that should add the stat bonuses to that list, ideally. We'll see. There we go. So I want to go to inventory details. I'm going to drag this into there. And bada bing, bada boom, you've got it set up, hopefully. Okay, log potion. I was, I was scared for a second, but log potion does not have stats. And there we go. So it's showing power two, vitality four. And it's not really exactly how we want it, is it? We want it to go to a new line for after each one. So again, concatenate, add on to the end of that string, and we're going to add on a line break. Just like that. We're using rich text, so we can use a line break just like that. And if I go here and do that, now I've got a list of stats. Pretty cool, pretty simple. I know some of you may be, dis may be disappointed in the approach that we're taking here. And I did have a couple of things laid out. We actually, I had a whole system that was a, a scrollable list. It was a grid and it had icons. And next to the icon, I had the stat. And that was pretty cool, but it required a couple of things that got to get reworked for that to work. And it just kind of seemed out of scope for the, the simplicity of this. But what I would like to do maybe is release some of these things as like extensions that you guys can actually get and use and get and play around with and see how I did things. Instead of wasting time going back and rewriting stuff in videos, you can get it and see what I changed and see if you want to make the changes yourself. That kind of thing. So again, guys, in the next video, I don't really know what we're going to do in the next video. We may continue the inventory. It's coming along pretty nicely. And then we're going to make portals, right? It's, it's a pretty simple thing. It's nice to come down and have this 
these easy things after working on complex stuff. So we're going to make some portals where you go up and you click on an item and, or an object and that takes you somewhere else. That could be cool. Takes you to a destination that you define somehow. And uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to do, so I don't know. If you guys have any questions, do me a favor. I know you love to ask in the comments, and that's fine. Sometimes I can get to you. Most of the time I can't, but I try. If you have any questions, go to gogangrind.com, and I want you to create an account, and I want you to go to questions and ask your questions here. This is a place that we can have discussion and post code, and the discussion really needs to be related to the question, and the answers should be related to the question. But we also have comments, so you can come in. It's, it's like Stack Overflow, similar. It's not going to be as strict, and it's a great place because we can create like a a database of questions and answers. And people have questions all the time. There are things that I break that I don't realize I break, and you guys you have the questions, and that way we can actually answer the question once and reference the question with the answer for other people and that's good so if you can come to gogamegrind.com create an account and ask your question here that would be great if you guys want to get in touch with me directly the best way to do that right now I mean other than this I can answer your questions through this is to become a patron and join the discord server that's for game grind patrons we got a little over 20 people in there that, that hang out and chat about stuff game dev sometimes not game dev and that's where you can get like direct updates to what I'm doing and also if you uh, are on Facebook like the Facebook page description has the link for that and you can keep up to date on what's coming next and things like that and make suggestions and all that it's pretty fun so if you could do that for me that'd be great again guys I appreciate all the awesome support you've been giving me and the warm welcome back has been great and I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Austin, and I will see you next time.